Blue. My name is Brandon Green Day. This here is engine 1132. For this shift I'm driving and this is the driver's position. And I'm responsible for the safe operation of the vehicle during the shift. Aside from driving, this is my main area of responsibility. It's a 2,000 gallon a minute pump and it carries 500 gallons of water. Through pulling any of these various levers, we can get water into the pump and then back out of the pump. Here we have the driver's compartment. On this shelf here we have the various appliances to connect the different size hoses and hydrants. Hello boys and girls, I'm Firefighter Mark and I wanted to show you some more stuff we have here on Engine 1132. Um, first we have a couple tools we quite frequently use. These are our fire extinguishers. Something you all may have at home and we never play with, right? Only mommies and daddies. Um, we have a little bigger one and they're for smaller fires. Over here, we have lots of other equipment that we use for lots of other different kinds of emergencies because we don't only go on fires, we go on all kinds of um, emergencies. We have ropes and toolboxes full of all kinds of stuff to help us do whatever we have to do to help out in the emergency. One common emergency we go to are motor vehicle accidents all over town. These are our cutters. Very strong, just like a pair of scissors, like you would use to cut anything else. These cut through steel and metal. These are our hydraulic spreaders, also known as the Jaws of Life. Uh, you probably remember us from last year showing us these. Very popular. We use these on um, cars as well as any other type of machinery or entrapment where people might be um, in danger. These help us um, get people out. We also have many types of saws that we use, just like the axe that we keep up front, used for chopping or cutting or helping us break through stuff, even doors if we have to, anything that we need to help um, in any situation. Back here, this is where we keep all our fire hose. And if you can see, we have Smaller hoses, bigger hoses, and medium hoses. These smaller hoses are what we use to actually put out the fire. These bigger hoses, these are called supply lines. We hook these up to the fire hydrants, like you see outside of your house on the street, the things we never play with. This is what we'll hook up to them to get our water, and then we'll fight the fire with these little guys. We also have ladders. Many of you boys and girls have probably seen these. We use these for a lot of different things, mainly to get into um, possibly a house, a window, get up on a roof, anything we could do to assist in life safety, saving somebody's life in the event of a fire or any other bad situation. But we use these a lot. Now, boys and girls on this side of the truck, we have saws just like we did on the other. But these are gas powered saws. We also have two shovels and extra little tools to help us out um, when we work on emergencies. Again, I hope you're enjoying our tour. Matt and Mark showed you some of our apparatus. I'm gonna show you a little bit more. Here we have another pump panel um, or our discharges on this side just so we don't have to run hoses around the truck. Um, and here's with the compartment where the guys get ready when they're going to a call. This is where they get ready. We have our seats with our air packs built into the back of them. We have our flashlights, uh, just different tools that are mounted here on the side. We have our irons and just anything we might need on the way. This is where the guys get ready. So when we get to the location, they're ready to go and to help you. This next door is where the officer drives. Uh, in this section, uh, again, flashlight, radio, camera, a computer system. Uh, the computer keeps us up to date with what's going on, especially if things change on the way. 
Uh, we may be on the way to the fire and the police officer gets there first. He can, he can pass information on, which helps us. Um, but communication is the key to everything. If you also notice firefighter Mark, everything he took out and showed you, he put back where it belongs. That's something we do here in the fire service. We have to do it. Anything we use, we put back exactly where it came from. Um, so when the next crew needs it, we know where it is because we're not always the same guys working. One of our most valuable pieces of equipment is our thermal imaging camera. This helps me to see, or any firefighter who's using it, in the, in the heavy smoke or dark or conditions where I couldn't see normally. It's called, again, a thermal imager, and I'm going to shine it directly on firefighter Matt, and you're going to see what we see. And that whiteness is the heat coming off his body. So again, this is a valuable tool, and we are very lucky to have it. We have three of them here. In, we have three of this style here that we use all the time, and we have three backups. So we, have, we could have as many as six of them in use at any one time, God forbid, if we had something of that magnitude. So I hope you enjoyed the tour. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to us. Thanks.